gonna start off with this. So, so Dre is known to make a thousand songs and shelve 988 of them. Yeah. How many songs you got with Dre that will never see the light of day? I don't know. I have no idea. I've been recording with Dre since early 2000s. So, you know, sometimes I go in and lay a verse, and sometimes I write something, and sometimes I lay a demo, or I don't have no idea what he has. You know? Right, right. Yeah. But you think probably like dozens, right? Yeah. When you <laughs> when it come out, just be. Ready, all right. That's that's what the deal is. That's what's up, man. Open bar entertainment. Um, what's the, what's the latest on uh, the licks or the alcoholics? I know they go back and forth, but uh. right. Um, I'm I'm very close with King T. Um, he actually lives right around the corner from me. Um, uh, I know the alcoholics live in uh, uh well at least uh, J uh, East Swift and Tash live in Vegas, and J Bro goes back and forth from Europe to here. So I mean, I, I've seen them recently. We're all good. Everything's good with them. Dope, man. And as far as yourself, I know you're on uh, Empire Season 4 right now. Tell me about the music, man, the evolution of your sound to where it is today. Hey, man, you know, um, I love what I do. I love what I say. You know, this is something that has been in the process for quite some time. And uh, to be able to be in 2017, starting from 1996, I feel very blessed. Um, the music is, I'm, I'm stepping into, into the production side now. I have an artist called James Savage that's coming out. And um, I'm very excited about that. We have a film that goes with the album. So uh, you, you'll be seeing that very soon. That's what's up, man. A lot of rappers. I love this about hip hop. Got other hustles now. Chameleon, everybody was, was you know, shocked when they saw him courtside. What's the other hustle, man, that, that you got coming up that you would like to get into? Um, I'm pretty much doing everything I want to do right now. You know, I have no complaints, you know. Um, you're getting more into the film industry is something I'd like to do. You know, I'm learning still. So as soon as I got everything tied up and, you know, when I feel confident enough, I'll go ahead and step into my first major motion picture and, and you know, produce it or either star in it. It's, it's up to me. First time you ever were remember, like, meeting him in the studio and, or, or seeing 50 in the studio when he was just this juggernaut. Yeah, I mean... Well, I didn't spend much time with 50 when he when he got signed. I just did the video with him. But, I mean, I've seen him in passing. But I think the first time I actually worked with Eminem, um, we were working on the Chronic album. And then he had just finished laying um, uh, nine days. Everybody want to talk. Let the guy something to say. But nothing comes out when they move the lips. <laughs> and uh, we just kept listening to it back to back to back. And I mean, it was just an amazing time. I mean, my experience in music has been like a dream, you know, come true. It's it's something I couldn't have, couldn't have imagined, and and the fact that it's still happening is is just testament to the fact that you know loyalty is royalty, and that's why we're here tonight. Mr. X to the Z exhibit, one of the defiant ones, right here, Los Angeles, California, Hip Hop DX, Pratt.